I am on my way to Kmart for a 9 volt battery for my road mic because I have something to say. I think. It'll be a long time before I teach any tutorials on this stuff. <sighs> okay. I really don't like <laughs> the setup in this room. It's just this blank white wall, but it's kind of the only real privacy I can get here um, at school. But I want to talk about something that I've been going through and that a lot of other people who make stuff go through. And I didn't really plan this, so I don't know exactly how it's gonna go. I'm just gonna talk about it and then we'll just move on and see what comes from it. But basically, getting straight down to the point, I am burnt out. I'm burnt out. Um, it's kind of like a trap. Two of my favorite YouTubers actually posted videos about this um, lately and it's just weird that it's happening at this time. Uh, but you can see you want to get maybe the computer more in the frame. <laughs> it just has something in the background, I don't know. But um, I think that because so often I'm positive and uplifting and always have something to say that, that you know, it, sh it shadows the other things that we as people go through and that can get us down sometimes. You know, they say like life's a roller coaster and I try to show that there's a lot of ups in it, but it's not always like that. Um, there are a lot of moments where you have no idea if you're gonna come out the way you plan to come out. And this is one of those moments for me. And in the grand scheme of things, these problems aren't real problems. These problems aren't you know, some of the world's biggest questions, like starving, starving people. And, but these are issues that I'm going through. And the reason why I do these videos and I put them on YouTube and I do all that stuff on Instagram and everything is because I have this great, look, it's Raul, come in. I'm making a video, come in <laughs> and say hi. <laughs> Watch out for the plug, though. <laughs> it's just an update. You know, I have a YouTube channel. Duck, duck in the camera and say hi. Hello, everyone. I, I have this idea that if you want to do something that involves a lot of people, like filmmaking or, you know, just anything in that nature that involves working with people, and working with people is something that I want to do, help people and inspire people. People have to know you and... Also, it's this really cool idea that one day my kids and my grandkids will be able to watch these YouTube videos and watch the movies that I make or the films or the documentaries or anything that I do and I produce and I create with that has my voice, whether it's up or whether it's down. They can watch that and they can see what it was like for this person that's related to them that was genuinely trying. Not always trying the best and not always doing the best, but genuinely trying. I really don't want to show this side of me, the side that's down, but in reality, it's the truth. Right now, I don't feel like doing anything that has anything to do with creating stuff. I, like, it's just, it's not that I don't feel like doing anything, it's just, you know, I say yes to a lot of projects. And, you know, you say yes to so many that you have more than, than you ever expected. And sometimes when you you know, have aspirations, you get in over your head, and that's where I'm at. And it doesn't mean one bit that I'm giving up. I'm definitely not giving up. But life forces you to focus on what your weakness is and to, to change your lifestyle and to change your habits to do better and to be better. And that's that's why 
I'm sharing this and that's the position I'm in. Some things have happened lately that I don't really care to go into detail with because it'll just make this longer, but. So, <clears throat> I am currently broken down on 95 on my way back to Delaware. It is two something in the morning. My car is dead. The batteries are dead. They that that they, they force you to focus on parts of you that you know if were better, you would be better and you would be more focused and you would be more organized and you would be more disciplined and your habits would be better. And that's where I'm at. And that's how it is. Life is just a constant cycle of being overwhelmed and being stressed and failing and picking yourself back up and coming out of that cycle a different person and more focused and and stronger and better and ready to take on the next tasks and so yeah I can find some positive in the negative I guess but yeah I'm burnt out and um, I'm gonna reflect on why why I make videos why I do what I do. Um, I'm gonna reflect on the end goal and I'm gonna work on my daily habits and you'll be hearing some more from me and from this channel. As for a regular schedule, I'm gonna hope to continue on it, but there's just so much going on, but it will continue. The show goes on. That's about it and um working on some stuff for lightning studio because you know i still do love it and still got to do it but for now i'm just going to be organizing this mess that i have in the library room and then finish updating my computer and we will see where it goes from there i'm all packed up and about to head back but oh man look at the reflection i love the reflections but <laughs> I, uh, I want to finish with saying that I have the best support system that there is. I mean, my parents do absolutely everything for me, and I have the best friends and my brothers and um, the Lightning Studio and Kickback, like these groups. It's my family, and I'm just glad to be doing what I love with the people I love and, and uh, going to try to do better. What I really want to say right here is this. This is the this is the moment of life that like this is the realization that I've like come to and this is what drives me and it's right here where it's another reminder to me why why I do what I do and why I I go through this endless cycle of overwhelming myself and picking myself back up right here is this reason is I wasn't planning on getting any sleep tonight. I accepted that. I, w I was coming up here to Delaware late so I could get some work done and uh, just a mixture of like video stuff, homework, whatever. Like I wasn't planning on getting any sleep. I'm still not going to get any sleep. But what was never supposed to be in the picture is my dad, who works hard enough as it is, was not supposed to get up in the middle of the night and come and get me. He wasn't. And he's on his way right now. It's 2.30. He's got to be up at like 4 or 5 to go to fucking work. That's what drives me is like... My father will always be the hardest working person that I've ever met in my life. And he'll always be my hero. And that'll always be... That'll always be a driving factor and a driving force in my life. The fact that like I call my mom and she answers right away. And she does whatever... It takes, like, they've dedicated their life to us, and that's just why, why I do what I do. What I do is, like, not even solidified yet. I make fucking videos. I'm making a fucking video right now, broke down on the side of the street. Shitty lighting, it's flashing light, but it's the truth. Like, this is me, raw, not in a good place, not in the highest place. This is a this is a low. This is like before you see the bounce back. This is like a lot of lows coming together on the side of the road here. In the end, I guess it really comes down to just being thankful. 
being thankful for the people in your life that will sacrifice so much to make sure that you are safe and that you are loved and that you're looked after. I really do not like these cars flying by like that. I feel helpless. But, um, this light's not supposed to be blinking. It just is. It's like, I got, I try to get better lighting in this situation, but I just can't. I think it just kind of adds to the, the scenery. <laughs> 